This morning in the Eagle Studio, Jeff Klippenstein with us. Jeff, good morning. Good morning, Ronnie. How are you today? I'm doing good. Jeff, you are the owner over at Morden Agencies. How long have you been owner there? Well, I'm one of three owners. There's the original owner, Ray Friesen, and myself and Kyle Lauchin are the other partners there. And we've been there. Kyle and I have been part owners for four and a half years now. For four and a half years. And, and we talked about this on the radio where you said you kind of uh, fell into insurance, which is what a lot of people in insurance say. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. I was working shift work before I started there, and uh, this came up, and I thought, hey, that looks like a decent job. I knew the owner. I started at Prairie Insurance in Altona. I knew the owner there. He was a great guy, so chatted with him and uh, got lucky enough to be hired and uh, never looked back. And uh, one of the things that I've heard from you and other folks that work in insurance, what they like about it is that it's always changing. There's always something new to learn, and, and you never know everything. <laughs> 100%. You never know everything. When you think you do, it changes again, so... It's good. It keeps you on your toes. You never get bored. Uh, like we talked about, insurance isn't an, ex- an exciting topic, but it is not boring when it's always changing. And, and every situation is always different. Every customer you deal with is always different. So you can never become complacent. Absolutely not. You got to stay busy. But uh, Jeff, when you're not busy with Morton agencies at work, what keeps you busy? Well, we've got, uh, me and my wife have two young boys, 9 and 11. That keeps us pretty busy. Just uh, <laughs> making sure everything, everyone stays alive and healthy is good. Um, but just the general things with them, hanging out, doing sports, going outside as much as we can. Uh, of course, in winter, it's a little bit tougher. There's not as yeah. much things to do. But, you know, even just getting out on the lake in Morden and skating and sledding, all those great things that uh, Morden has to offer, we just try to take advantage of that as, um, as much as we can. And kind of like the uh, world of insurance, you know, nine and 11 year old boys, they don't stop moving. You know, they, they keep <laughs> yeah. going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're just an accident waiting to happen. So it's, uh, it's that's my world. It's just <laughs> mitigating risk all the time. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and we talked about how the weekend you guys weren't able to do many Easter gatherings as it was a moving weekend. Uh, it's got to be a lot of work moving offices. It is a lot of work, a lot of planning, pre-planning, and uh, we had a lot of help this last weekend from friends, from family, and so that worked really good. It was, uh, it was a lot going on, but uh, it all worked out in the end. Uh, the whole process worked smooth. It was, a, it was a lot of hours and a lot of planning, like I said. We had a lot of great contractors that made us a priority that we could get our stuff done in a short time frame that we were given, and so it worked really well. It was, it was a lot of sweat equity, a lot of late hours, but uh, it all worked great. And this weekend, we, like I said, we had a lot of help. We wrapped it up on Saturday and got the systems all, all green-lighted. Everything was good. The internet's good. Everything's running. Everything's functioning. And, uh, and yeah, so we're, we're under the wire here, and we're ready to open at 9 a.m. this morning. And so now that it's all over, you kind of feel calm, and, and you're, you're finished. <laughs> yeah, it's a great settling feeling to have that done and just move forward with what we do and in just doing our insurance thing. And so why the move from downtown Morden to being out more uh, on the highway? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. It's a, it's a tough decision. It's a big decision when you've been uh, at one place for that long. Uh, the biggest thing for us was visibility and traffic. Traffic flows where we're moving to now are just very strong. Uh, that area of town is kind of on the upswing. Co-op's a great anchor for that area of town. And uh, with McDonald's going there, that's a bit of a game changer too. The traffic counts are just off the charts there right now and we were just looking for a little more visibility there and that definitely provides that. Uh, One other thing that that one gives us is a little better parking. We have parking right out front which is a little easier for our customers. Um, Our old location had four stairs. This one didn't have any stairs so again more accessible for for older customers. So we've kind of listened to them express their concerns (laughs) over the years and so that's part of the equation too and you know we needed a bit more space. Uh, as I mentioned the, the last time we were talking, the uh, we just hired somebody for uh, for April here, so we just needed a little more space to grow into, and this gives us the space we need for today and hopefully for the next number of years as well. Right on, and uh, so this new location, uh, when clients come through and, and they see this new location, what can they expect when they walk through the doors? That well, sounds cliche. Same great service. Can I say that? <laughs> yes. But really the same great service, same staff, except for the new person, of course. Um, just a, a more modern facility, a little more space, uh, just a little more customer centric where it's just everything's accessible, everything's spacious and uh, everything's just current and looks great. We're excited to see you, Jeff. Congratulations on the move and, and best of luck. Thanks a lot, Ronnie. Really appreciate it.
Hey, I'm Ronnie Gunther. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have something going on in the community and you want to share it on the morning show, we'd love to have you. Send us an email at news at PeminaValleyOnline.com. If you like the video, give it a like and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.